Hey church, hey, we're just spending some time this morning praying and preparing for the Pray for Pataskala prayer walk taking place tomorrow morning, Saturday at 9 a.m. And I just wanted to, I guess, share this thought with you as I was um, just preparing my heart and thinking about what's going to take place tomorrow. I felt like I was getting ready for church because think about this for a moment. There, there's going to be hundreds of people who gather together. We're going to have worship. We're going to have prayer. There's going to be moments of encouragement and ministry, and there's going to be fellowship. All right, the only difference is we're going to be outside in downtown Pataskala instead of at 8577 Watkins Road, right? I mean, like, other than that, it's going to be church. And I haven't had church like that in a really, really long time. And so I just would encourage you, those of you that are missing church or those of you that can't wait to our homecoming service on July 12th where we get to be back together, I'd encourage you to treat tomorrow morning like church. Show up right here. I'm going to show you show you a picture. This is the Veterans Green Gazebo. I'm right here at the corner of Front Street and Main Street in downtown Pataskala. And it was at this gazebo just a couple weeks ago. I gathered with 12 local pastors, and we were praying fervently for our community, for our nation. There's just been so much turmoil. There's been so much tension. There's been so many challenges that, um, that we have faced, our nation has faced, God's people are facing. And there's so much that we don't fully understand. There's so much that we want to do and desire to do. But we felt like the first thing we should do is we need to gather together to pray. And it's not just our church. It's the church of Pataskala. It's the local church. Uh, pastors, believers coming together in unity. Scripture says in Psalm 133, it said, uh, Behold how good and pleasant it is when brothers and sisters dwell in unity for there the Lord commands His blessing, life forevermore. And so I just truly believe that this is a step towards um, man doing what God is calling us to do in our community and a step towards racial reconciliation, a step towards healing that our nation needs both, uh, both physically, both emotionally, uh, from our history, from our present, and from our future, Lord. And so we just, we just I'm, I'm believing though that tomorrow morning we're going to have church but it's going to be with people maybe you've never met before. But it's 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 a body of believers coming together in unity for prayer. Scripture says in Ephesians that we should make every effort to bring about unity through the bonds of peace. And tomorrow is about us making every effort to bring prayer right in the center of our life and believe God for what only He can do, right? We'll do what we can do and trust God to do what only He can do, which is bring about healing, bring about reconciliation, and bring peace uh, to our communities. In Jesus' name, I really hope you'll be here tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., downtown Pataskala for the Pray for Pataskala prayer walk. You will be blessed, and God will use you to be a blessing to others. Amen.